After two five-year-olds were killed in a tragic ATV accident in Shepherd over the weekend, the owners at Steady Grinding Coffee House are doing their part to help in any way they can. Actually being able to see the pictures of the two kids uh, really got to us. Hearing about the loss of a child is difficult for anyone, but for Casey Johnson, it's much more personal. He's my guardian angel now. I lost him to Sid, so I know you know, how that feels to go through that. Casey lost a child himself, but even so, can't fully imagine what this family is now going through. Five-year-olds Hunter and Olivia McCullough died Friday when the side-by-side -side ATV they were in was hit by a car. Authorities say the ATV was being driven by a 13-year-old and pulled in front of the vehicle. I can't tell you how long I sat there and stared at my phone of just the pictures of the two kids before we sat down and figured out something that we could do to give back to them. Johnson and Taylor Hirsch have owned Steady Grinding Coffee House for two years and try to help the community whenever they can. They're now collecting donations for the McCullough family. This isn't the first time that something like this has happened that we've done. We've actually have done a um, fundraiser for a family that lost a quite younger child. It's just something that we feel a calling towards. The community can donate at the Steady Grinding Coffee House in the Heights or at the Shepherd location. The Shepherd location will also be donating 100% of their tips to the family. I just want the family to know that the community is there for them. Anything that they need, um, I think this speaks volumes. Um, we're a small voice, but behind the community, we're a large voice. Johnson has set up a Venmo for donations for the family if you are unable to make it to either location. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.